Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, well, if you've been following these videos, um, I've been uh, uh, a bit busy in the in the last few weeks since the, the last video that I published um, with the day job uh, and also the bees as well. Um, we're uh, midst of uh, spring now. Uh, we're into swarming season. Um, so it's a very busy time of year for um, working with honeybees in the hives. Anyway, so back to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. What are we going to do today in this video? Um, well, today we're going to have a little look at um, upgrading. Um, a, it's a long overdue upgrade, really, uh, to our uh, Veeam backup and replication server. Um, and although that does actually say Cyrus Veeam 10, um, it is actually running um, Veeam backup and replication. Let's just uh, uh, Veeam backup and replication version 11. Um, um, we want to use some new features that are in 12.3. And uh, if you've been following our little Veeam backup and replication series where we've uh, added... Um, SCSI HBAs to virtual machines and SCSI HBAs to physical machines and we've created tape servers and things um, using 12 um, but this is our production Veeam backup and replication 11 that we use and we want to use some of the newer features in this um, in 12.3 so it's time to upgrade now I'm always really really anxious um, about upgrading our Veeam backup and replication server because it is the server basically that uh, backs up all the production workloads um, and a lot of the home lab um, workloads as well here. Um, so yeah, I don't feel easy about doing this um, because I know that if it doesn't sort of kind of go well and it breaks, um, then you know we're into a world of um, a world of doo doo. Um, really um, but fingers crossed um, the first thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to snapshot um, the I'm going to snapshot the, the virtual machine but the first thing I want to do um, is I don't want a snapshot the backup repo that exists on one of the VMDKs only because we've deliberately maxed out that virtual disk to the size of the data store and if we create a snapshot on it we are going to run out of space um, you know I know that you should really basically keep 20% of the data stores free for snapshots but we didn't in this case deliberately so I'm going to edit the settings of the VM um, I'm going to look at hard disk 2 which is our 1.7 terabyte um, virtual disk and I'm going to actually basically select independent persistent followed by okay now what that's going to do um that's going to disable the snapshot on that disk so if i now basically go to actions and i basically say snapshots uh take snapshot um and i say before veeam 11 11 upgrade and paste that in there followed by create and that's going to complete now i'm actually going to go and check the data store to see whether or not that there's no snapshot on that virtual disk so if i actually have a little look at um esxi 8 underscore local two underscore vm of her six yes this is not on a shared volume um we've actually basically got um underlying nvme rated i think on this um, so I just actually basically want to have a little look in that folder. Uh, and all I can see there is Cyrus Veeam 10 underscore one VMDK 1.8. So there's no snapshot on that. Um, if we go back and have a little look at, uh, Cyrus Veeam 10 there, then we should actually basically see that it has a snapshot on it. And interestingly, it does. Zero, zero, 001, there's a snapshot there. So that's done what I wanted to do. 
um, we've got a snapshot in place on our operating system partition, which is where is Veeam installed. And that's what I want because, uh, you know, um, I just want to basically do an upgrade of 11 to 12.3. Um, I don't have the space basically to do a snapshot of the repo. Uh, not that it should touch the repo. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, okay, so let's actually basically go back to... Um, so I've already got the the Veeam Backup and Replication 12.3 ISO um, in the CD-ROM drive. So I'm hoping that this is just going to be a simple click, next, 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 finish, upgrade, maybe a restart, um, and we're done. Um, so I'm going to click upgrade. Uh, and the reason for doing this really is that one, we've got to do it here in the lab. Uh, because we want to use some of the new features in 12.3. Um, but there's always people basically that are asking me, you know, do you have a video for how do we upgrade Veeam Backup and Replication 11 to 12.3? And although it may appear very simple, so I'm going to click Upgrade Veeam Backup and Replication. I'm going to click that. Although it may appear to be... Okay, we are unable to update the following because they are locked by an external process. Veeam Backup Shell. It's probably because I've got that hanging around. Um, because I actually basically ran that. So let's just click a retry. Okay, in Setup Wizard. Anyway, um, just watch that. I'm going to undo this can um, of my um, favourite uh, soft drink, which uh, is a uh, is a Pepsi Max, as you will rightly know by now. There we go, the Pepsi Max. I'm just going to have a swig on this. I've got a double espresso waiting for me there as well. I've got a headache this morning. It's probably not enough caffeine. Uh, okay, so yeah, people ask me all the time for videos. Um, they want to see the process uh, to reassure themselves that all is going to go swimmingly well in um, the lab or in production, um, as it should. Uh, what you've not seen, we've also uh, created a clone of this virtual machine, and we've also basically run a backup of it as well, using Veeam Backup and Replication. Um, so... If things do go wrong and snapshot doesn't work out for us, uh, we can basically go back to the clone. If the clone doesn't work out for us, we can actually basically go back to the backup. Um, so there are your sort of kind of three, um, as I said before, in some of the videos I've done about backup is not a backup unless it's in three places. So we've got three mechanisms there. Okay, a snapshot is not technically a backup, um, but it can help us get out of the doo-doo um, if this upgrade um, should go wrong. Now, this upgrade is going to do a number of things. Obviously, it's going to upgrade the binaries to 12.3. Uh, it's also going to update the database as well. Um, it's probably going to change some of the jobs, uh, make some of them um, not compatible now, or we're going to have to upgrade them in the future. Um, so whilst we wait for that, um, I'm going to bob off and have a few more swigs of uh, Pepsi Max and my espresso and we'll speed up this in post that we normally do. Uh, so um, I'll, um, I'll come back. Um, I'll come back shortly when this is done. Okay, so uh, I accept the license agreement. Um, it's suggesting it's going to create 11.0.1, uh, 12.3, Veeam Backup Catalog, Veeam Backup and Replication Server, Beam, Veeam Backup and Replication Console, followed by Next. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm just going to leave that as defaults. Um, you can't use a community edition unless you have update licensing automatically enabled, as I've mentioned before, followed by next.
This is running a little bit slower, I suspect, because we've actually basically got that snapshot in place. Uh, but the snapshot, um, the virtual machine is actually basically running on NVMe storage flash. Uh, so I'm going to click next. Um, I'm going to click next again. I'm not going to change the the database. Veeam backup is the Veeam backup and reconfiguration database. Yep. Uh, now it's going to do a configuration check. Uh, I think we might need to bob off again and wait for this to complete. No. Okay. So configuration address all compatibility issues in your product configuration prior to proceeding with the upgrade. Improve backup since 12. Newly created backup copy jobs are no longer platforms. Physically and contain a mix of different workload types. Legacy backups, okay. Last name retention policy. New threat hunter service. Uh, selected. Ah, okay. Now it's interesting. I've already upgraded this partition and legacy disk once and now it's actually basically saying selected location does not meet recommended disk space requirements 43.11 gigabyte 42.5 gig available every time i change this okay so what we're going to have to do we're going to have to do a quick um okay so we're going to have to delete the snapshot okay so let's do this now um Okay, so let's just turn off that. Um, okay, so we're going to have to delete the snapshot. Delete all. Because, of course, as I explained in one of our videos recently, uh, we cannot grow the partition. Uh, sorry, we cannot grow the disk if we've actually got a snapshot in place. So I'm now going to go increase that to 130 gig. Okay, so our virtual machine disk has now been grown by 10 gig. So I'm going to go back to our virtual machine. I'm going to go into disk management. There's our 10 gig. I'm going to grow and extend our petition. So it's now 129.5 gig. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click next. And I'm interested to see whether or not that it's actually basically going to give us the green light on the stories that we've got. Um, and then what I'm going to do, um, I'm then going to basically issue the snapshot. Um, no changes have taken place at present. Uh, OK, so. What I'm going to now do is I'm going to say take snapshot. Um, before the. Upgrade. Well, technically, it's Veeam 12.3 upgrade, isn't it? So before Veeam 12 upgrade. 3.8. Our snapshot is in place, although. Before 12, yep, our snapshot is in place. Um, I'll just turn that off and you can see that. There we go. So we created a snapshot. It's in place. And we're now going to go back and I'm going to click next. Okay. So now it says ready to upgrade. And I'm going to click upgrade. So at this point now, changes are going to start taking place. Um, uh, so I'm going to bob off. I'll speed all this up in post. And hopefully, fingers crossed, um, it's going to do all the heavy lifting. It's going to do all the upgrade. And I can come back and click the Veeam Backup and Replication Console icon and uh, log in. And um, our upgrade has been completed. Uh, so I'll be back um, shortly when this completes. And as I said, I will speed all this up in post. So uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be back shortly.
well, that big tick saying successfully upgraded certainly gives me some reassurance that everything has gone well. So let's just click a button and see and click finish. Well, that looks successful. Let's just have a little dig. Um, click OK. Um, OK wants us to... That's, they're probably going to fail because I don't think that they're on. Uh, although that is, so we can click Apply there and see actually basically what starts to happen. But I think Cyrus Veen Proxy 1, I think, is off. Um, that's also off, so it's not going to be able to connect to those two. Uh, but it should actually collect the disks and volume information for Cyrus Veen 10 and do whatever it needs to do to um, update all those transports and bits and bobs. So let's just wait for that to complete. So eventually uh, those resources timed out because they're not on, so it can't upgrade them. Uh, so we'll turn those on later and we'll upgrade them. Um, but we're back here at the normal console. Everything is looking good. Um, we still have the snapshot in place, so we can still roll back. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to start a backup job um, of our domain controllers and just wanting to see really whether or not that that job uh, just functions and backs up um, and then does the copy job that we have it um, uh, tailed on to the end so that it backs up to a local repository and then the copy job actually basically spins that out onto a, a separate NAS. Uh, and when we've gone through all these checks, of course, we will check and we will restore because a backup is not a backup unless you can restore it, of course. And you shouldn't be calling them backups unless you've tested restored. Um, and then that's it. And then we will uh, delete the snapshot. So that my Certainly anxiety in doing that um, certainly has been reduced to zero because I say that's a, a long time coming. And I think that um, I think we're now seeing that uh, Veeam Backup and Replication 13 beta, uh, I think, um, is available now as well. OK, so again, thanks very much for watching um, another um, Hancock's VMware half hour. Um, if you like this video, then please thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, come back for uh, another video uh, when we'll be looking at um, some of the, the functions that we can do in uh, Veeam Backup and Replication 12.3. Uh, so uh, once again, thanks so much and, uh, and goodbye.